Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Captain Kinetic. At ngayon, super excited ako to review all the entries that were sent for our first ever PowerPoint design contest. There are seven entries. And uh, as you can see on my screen, this is the current cover photo of Prey. All right, our visuals by Prey. Um, she is our first ever privileged person to benefit from this contest because as you can see from our conversation here, there's no money and involved everything the funds are coming from my own budget for kinetic slides and i just wanted to help people instead of creating a fictitious case study we use a uh, person to benefit for this one so uh, alam nyo ba ito rin papakita ko rin sa inyo kung gaano kahirap and kung gaano ka appreciate ni pray yung mga pinagagagawa ninyo all you seven participants for this contest without further ado let's go let's go let's dive straight in and see my feedback and our uh, judgment Yes, judgment. And our judgment for these um, entries. Alright, but before that, let me just uh, recap our criteria for judging. Okay, so the criteria, we only have three. Alright, for the first one is visual branding. So the elements, the colors, and the fonts, how you consistently use them. Uh, these elements are uh, seen on her website or her Instagram or other social media platform, right? And so that's 40%. Uh, pinaka malaki. So kapag uh, sumablay ka din sa visual branding na yan, ako, patay. Okay? Next one is the technique and implement implementation. So the strategy you guys used in implementing the colors, the layout, the usage, and combinations to create the visual effect. Right? That's 30%. And last but not the least, audience impact. Alright? So the actual votes on the YouTube videos at the specified deadline. Alright? So take note of that. That's important. YouTube, hindi po kami magbibilang ng count sa Facebook or kung saan mang social media platform mo share itong video na to. What is the strategy or what is my tip for you to gain that 30% for your audience impact? Alright, first is to share this video to your friends and ask them to vote for your output by simply stating your code name. Again guys, code name in the comment on my YouTube video. So, we start with the first entry which is from Voodoo. Ooh, bakit kaya Voodoo? So this guy, he is from the Voodoo capital of the Philippines. Okay, from somewhere by later. That's why I called him the Voodoo. All right. So let's take a look at his entries. By the way, all of these entries, guys, are created using PowerPoint. Well, except for the mockup, which is totally fine, right? Because you cannot really do a mockup on PowerPoint, right? A decent mockup, that is. All right. So let's start. Voodoo, what do you got for us? Ooh. Awesome. Let me take a quick look on this one. All right. So you got everything in there. You got the uh, uh, the mock-up, which is very important. Uh, you made sure that hindi makakaveran yung importanting details, which is nandito. Kasi there will be a, uh, in LinkedIn, you have the cover photo here, right? Both in mobile and on PC view, right? So that's very good. You have the, the font, very nice. Um, the thing that's missing here, I guess, is the font, right? This is not the right font that you used, Voodoo. Yeah, and I like that you also put this blurb right here, the unlock this resource and uh, bit. Lee, right? So the, very nice. Um, compared to the the previous or the current cover photo of Prey, this has a bit of a strong character for me. That's how I perceive this one, as opposed to the feminine vibe. You know what I mean? So yeah, begin natin ng tatlong claps itong si Budo. Uh, very nice. I think uh, I, I just need to see more of the portfolio from her because that's her uh, preference, right? She wanted to see some photos uh, and you only put two in here. Next one is from Geisha. Bakit kaya Geisha? Geisha bakla siya. Geishas are from Japan, right? And uh, the nickname of this person is somewhat related to the Japanese word which uh, means in English continuous improvement and that is Kaizen, okay? So, hey Kai, this is from you. Let's take a look. What do you got for us? All right. Now, this one's got a bit of a character, All right? So, you can see Prey right there on the, on the right. Uh, I'm not sure if this image is from her portfolio, though. And uh, that's one thing that she mentioned, right? If this is from, per from her portfolio, it's going to be a good one. I also noticed just like Voodoo, you didn't use the correct font, which is Laura and Quiche. Quiche? Parang yung Philippine dala. Quiche. Okay. And the United Kingdom, I don't think this is necessary here, right? It's not part of the design uh, brief, right? But yeah, anyway, this is a really, really uh, nice start. What I would do here is to include the mock-up and make sure that uh, I move um, some of these keywords here uh, a bit on the center. 
kasi delikado siya kung malalagyan niya ng cover photo dito. Alright? Yeah, besides using the right font, um, adding portfolio, um, doing the mockups, uh, I just need to move this thing right here uh, in the middle. So, bigyan natin ng 3 snaps si Geisha. Good. Alright, next is from Maleficent. Hmm, Maleficent. Alright, I think I find, uh, I, I've seen this girl before, right? And I think she's a beauty queen. Uh, it's enigmatic beauty, right? I'm not sure guys if you, see, if you saw an interview from Jolina Jolie. Diba, isa siya ngayon sa mga UN diplomats, right? UN. And when they went to a certain country, natakot yung isang bata sa kanya kasi akala niya nakita niya sa Maleficent. Let's see what this Maleficent has in store for all of us. Ooh, okay. So girly. This one I'm talking about. Alright, I see a lot of uh, images from Prey and it's clear that uh, I mean the, the hierarchy right so you have the logo here and also the the blurb let me see let me take a quick look I think that the, the hierarchy is there you know you have the the blurb with the correct size it's not in your face and at the same time you have this mock-up over here I think the only um, comment that I have for this one is for this mock-up to face inside as opposed to para nagtatampo na nakatingin sa bintana, right? I'm not sure if you, you get what I mean, but uh, it, it should be looking inside as opposed to looking outside, right? So maybe just flip it over right here. And another thing, you just have to work on the alignment because uh, as you can see some of this one, right? This is a bit wider compared to this. I know it's difficult, but this girl definitely did this in PowerPoint. So let's just... Uh, put a bit of appreciation on how she did it on PowerPoint, guys. Okay. So, makikita nyo naman, di ba, ang effort ni Ate Maleficent. See, guys, this images right here, talagang individually siyang nilayout ni Maleficent. So, yeah. I hope you guys can see that PowerPoint is a very, very, it's a very nice tool for anyone who wants to be in the design industry. Okay, so apart from uh, the consistent width here, at mas maganda para pareho siya even here, and it's noticeable here, no? Makita natin na may konting um, difference. This is a bit narrower compared to this. But other than that, yeah, this is a very nice one. Bigyan natin siya ng dalawang clap at isang snap. Alright! Next entry! Let's take a look. Oh, Royal. Okay, Royal. You know Royals? The song Lo Royals, it's sung by Lorde, right? Lorde or Lord, anyway. And the name of this guy is kind of related to Royals. Alright! Ooh, this is interesting too. Um, halos pareho ka ata, ata kami ng style lang nag-design neto. Okay, there are a lot of corners as opposed to curves. At dito mo mahahalata talaga kung ano yung designer, either lalaki yun or babae, right? So, compared to Maleficent, I don't think I could come up with that sexy, girly design or look because I think that's just my identity. That's why you can also see na with this one, you can realize that this one is uh, from a, uh, a guy, right? It's good that he has a lot of uh, the portfolio from Prey. Uh, Lord, I think the only comment that I have for you is to work on the hierarchy, right? So this VP, this logo right here doesn't have to be this big. I think what's important is you have to uh, shout the, the blurb a bit more. So elevating the visual brand for skincare and jewelry brands to attract the market. I understand maybe that you wanted to um, emphasize some of the words right here, but I don't think it's necessary for this one, right? Because ang dami ng visual eh, meron ng nag 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 aaway aaway na yung mga elemento mo sa slides eh. Like you have this uh, um, portfolio right here. You have the logo na malaki, uh, so you might as well simplify, no? You simplify the blur by just using one type of font para hindi rin siya magmukhang heavy. And it's good that you've considered not to put anything beyond this one because dito may ilalagay yung profile pic. Ano bang kulang dito? Oh, mock-up. Um, yeah, kulang siya ng mock-up. Overall, this is also a nice attempt. So, bigyan natin siya ng dalawang snap at isang clap. Good. So, next one. Who do we have? Entry number five is from Yoga. Hmm. Why did I name this girl Yoga? Because, you know, there's a superstar now, even from the 80s, right? Her name is Madonna. And uh, up to now, you cannot really notice that she's 50s or 60s. 60s. Siguro mga late 50s na siya ngayon. And you cannot see na talagang ganun na siya katanda. And one of her secrets, secrets is really yoga. So, this is for you, Madonna. Alright. So, once again, you can see praise picture in here. Nireplace na niya, nilagay na niya para hindi siya na maglalagay ng anything. Okay. She has the mock-up here, right? Cool. Uh, the comment that I can 
uh, give you Madonna is to to use the right font and of course to add the portfolio kailangan yon. and this one right here I, I think there's a bit of misunderstanding here so she kind of put a link on here saying click to see portfolio right and so uh, the portfolio that we wanted to, to showcase here is the actual images that uh, Prey has taken for her clients and uh, this one Prey the, the Facebook and Instagram account you would I would definitely encourage you to use icons instead. That's it. Other than that, uh, th this is also a nice attempt. Bigyan natin siya ng 3 snaps at dalawang claps. Oh yeah, one more thing. Madonna, if you can make this a bit bigger, that would be nice. Kasi hindi nakikita yung, ano eh, yung title ng checklist ni, ni Pri. Sayang din. And of course, the, the link. Alright guys, salamat sa mga naglagay ng, ng mock-up. Uh, gayahin natin si Voodoo. No, naglalagay tayo ng parang unlock this uh, uh, call to action like unlock this checklist or free checklist download. Something like that. And then put on the, the bit link. Next is number 6, Black Panther. Alright. So, uh, so alam nyo naman, di ba? Superhero tayo dito. So, isip ko, Black Panther is for someone who has a uh, leopard element in his name. Know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so let's take a look. Ooh, this is awesome. It's a bit difficult to figure out if this is a design made by a man, a male, or a female. Because you get the, the figures there. The nice balance. What more can I say? Uh, I think the font, right? We, we can just simplify it to using just uh, one type. I mean, this is one font. Pareho silang cliche, right? Pero if you can just use one uh, property or style, di ba? Kung magsistick ka dun sa style na ginamit mo for furongganan. Furongganan? Uy, baka mali pa yung spelling nito. Baka furongganan ba? Let me check real quick. Furongganan! <laughs> For a gun and so wrong spelling. Anyway, yon, that's important. Kasi kung totoo ang kliyente mo to, nako patay ka. Yon, so one thing that's missing is also the blurb, like unlock this uh, resource and also the bit.ly. Other than that, I, th I, I like this design. Bigyan natin siya ng dalawang chest clap at dalawang snap. Yeah! Good job! And the last but not the least entry, Victorium. Bakit kaya Victorium ito? Because the models in Victoria's Secret, <laughs> secret daw kasi yung kanyang pangalan. So hindi natin siya papangalanan, alright? But I personally know this uh, this girl. Thank you so much for joining and I hope uh, natututo tayo sa lahat ng mga tech techniques na nakita natin sa mga entries na to. Even you, alright? So by the way, if you're new to this channel, I teach people to be better at PowerPoint and to design um, anything, uh, anything visual that you can can use as a service to earn dollars at the comfort of your home so be sure to subscribe if you want to know more so we can we can now go ahead and see victorium's entry okay do not put details here thank you so much for using the uh template all right you have the logo good um sa lahat ng mockups i think this is my favorite all right kasi napaka clear you can see that, that this freebie is a checklist of essential images for your brand right and there's also a call to action like free download kulang lang siya ng, uh, ng link there's a bit of a, a fight between uh, the elements at the center, right? Like this uh, logo right here, I don't think it has to be that big. I think what's important is uh, elevating the visual brand, the blurb. And so what I would do is to make this smaller and this photography stop motion reels and TikTok would be below this blurb right here. And of course, we have to include some of the portfolios and her social media account. That's it! Okay, thank you so much, Victoria. Bigyan natin siya ng dalawang snap at isang chest clap. And with that being, being said, let's take a quick tally sa ating mga current na entries. So this is my judgment to all you. So si Voodoo, meron siyang 37%. As you can see, meron din ako ng feedback dito. If you want, you can take a screenshot and then uh, make sure that you have it on your phone or on your laptop and your device so that you can uh, uh, refer to this whenever you join the next PowerPoint contest. Without the audience impact, here are your scores. Okay, so nagli-lead si Maleficent at si Black Panther. Si Roya, actually lahat kayo may pag-asang makabawi as long as... Uh, it depends on the audience impact. So I encourage you to share this video with your classmates, with your workmates, with your family and friends, and let them comment your code name. Again, guys, that's important. Your code name because that's what my, me and my team are going to be counting whenever we uh, do the final judgment. All right, okay, cool. You have until September. 
September 5, 1159. Okay. Before September 6, that's our countdown. So, halos isang araw lang, di ba guys? Isang araw lang to make this work for you. And I'm excited to announce my winners which will receive 300 pesos for the third prize, third place, second place gets 500 pesos, and the winner gets 1,000 pesos from Kinetic Slice. And I'll be announcing the winners on our Facebook page, PowerPoint Superhero. So if you want to know the winners, join the PowerPoint Superheroes by uh, checking out on our Facebook page, and then just answer two or three of the questions there, and you, you'll automatically be inside the group. That's it, guys, and I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the part two of the PowerPoint Design Contest.